Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra 1, Chapter 6.1, Notes, Part 2. Today we're talking about solving and graphing single and two-step inequalities. However, before we get started, we have dun, 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 a warm-up to do. So, what I want you to do, pause the video, go through and do as many of these as possible. Okay, this should take you about maybe five minutes or so. So pause the video, try them. You should be answering yes or no to each one of them. Okay, the answers will be up as soon as you hit play. Okay, I went through and did the work and then we're gonna answer the questions together. So, number one, you get four is less than or equal to negative seven. Is that a true or a false statement? Well, hopefully you're saying false because that is not a solution. Four is not less than negative seven. Okay, for two, you plug it in and you get a four is less than or equal to seven. Is four less than or equal to seven? Yeah, it is less than. Okay, so that's a, uh, that is a solution. For number three, a couple of these last ones I really like. Okay, so when you solve everything, first off, hopefully you guys notice that two negatives right here, uh, you get a positive. So 7 is less than or equal to 7. That actually is yes, because 7 is equal to. Okay, that's what that little line underneath it means. Okay, now number 4, you get 1 is greater than 1. Uh, no, one is not greater than one. That's saying like, I am older than myself right now. You can't have that, okay? Same with number five, 10 is greater than 10. Nope, can't happen. And then the last one, two less than or equal to uh, 10. That is a true statement. So yes, it is a solution. Okay, so when you are doing a warm up like this, when it's asking you, is it a solution or not? All you have to do is plug it in and solve. All right, let's move on to the notes now. So like I said, we're talking about solving and graphing single and two step inequalities. The learning target today is to be able to solve and graph single step inequalities using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So when solving, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the inequality, okay? Now, a lot of your uh, teachers before might have just told you this and you'd have been like, oh, okay, I'll do whatever the teacher says. Let's show why, okay? Let's take a look at this problem. Negative 2x is less than 4. So if we were to solve this, you would divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and you get x is less than negative 2. OK? So if we were to graph that, here's negative 2. We're saying that anything that is less than negative two is a solution, okay? So let's say, let's pick negative three. So negative two times negative three is less than four. Negative two times negative three is six. Is six less than four? No, okay, that is not a solution, okay? So even though we did all of the math correctly right there, we didn't get the right answer. So what we need to do is when we're solving this problem, there's our line. Let's divide by negative two, divide by negative two. You get x, you get negative two. The only thing here is now we have to flip, okay? 
So instead of pointing at the x, now it's going to be pointing at the negative 2. Okay? And when we graph this, there's 2. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 3, negative 4. And greater than negative 2, say 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Is 0 less than 4? Ding, 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 ding. You get a true statement. Okay? So that's why we need to flip when we divide or multiply by a negative. Okay? So let's start going through this. How do you get the x by itself? You're dividing right here to cancel division you multiply. Okay? So x, 1 times 4 is 4. You did not multiply by a negative, so there's no flip. The sign stays the same. So you go to 4. Is it opened or closed? Should be closed because it is less than or, or equal to. Shape to the left and draw your arrow. Alright, let's look at the next one. Okay, there's our line. Got to divide by 4. W is greater than 5. Okay, once again, no flip because we did not multiply or divide by negative. Okay, so we're open at 5 and we're shading to the right. Okay. Now, here, let's draw the line. To get rid of a fraction, you need to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay. Now, you're multiplying by a negative. So the first thing is we need to flip that sign. Get A, and then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So for this one, we flipped. Okay. Now is it open or closed? It is open at negative 6, and we shade to the right. Alright, number 4. Let's draw the line. Divide by negative 7, and we get negative 7. We divided by a negative, so we flipped it. So let's write that down. We had to flip. But now, what else do we have to do to this one? You have to rewrite it so that the b is first, okay? And it's Pac-Man is eating the B, so we're going to make sure it is still eating the B. We're at negative 7. This is a closed circle. And we're going to shade to the right. Okay. Number 5. Draw the line. Divide by 2. This is a no flip because we did not divide by a negative, okay? So same as yesterday at 4, we do a closed circle. It's less than 4, so we're shading to the left, okay? All right, number 6, 7, and 8. You guys are all by yourself. Let's pause the video and see how you do. Okay, so there should have been all of the answers. Now for number five, we had to flip that, just rewrite it so that the T came first. It was Pac-Man was eating the T, so we made sure it kept eating the T. There you go. Number seven and number eight, you had to flip because you were multiplying or dividing by a negative. Okay, let's flip it over. 
Solve the following two-step inequality, show your work. And remember now that we are following the rules of SADMEP. So we need to cancel addition or subtraction first. So add four to both sides, get x over two less than or equal to three. You get the x by itself, you multiply both sides by two and you get x is less than or equal to 6, okay? So we have a closed circle, and then you are shading everything woo, to the left, okay? And you can shade that any way you want to. All right, one more time. Add seven to both sides. You get three X is less than 20. Divide by three. You get X is greater than 20 over three. Now, that's our answer right there. But we know that 20 over three, we kind of need to know where that is. And it's approximately 6.7. That's okay to do that on your calculator, okay? So we want to go to two, uh, 6.7, which is right around there. And we want all answers greater than that. So we're going to shade to the right. All right, number 11. Solving for A, you have to subtract the 5 to both sides. 8 minus 5 is 3. Now, to get rid of the fraction, you need to multiply by the reciprocal, and you get a negative uh, ba -ba -ba, 2 over 3 times 3 over 1 gives you a total of negative 2. You multiplied by the reciprocal, and it was a negative, so we have to flip that sign. Okay, and now we want the a to be first, so it's a less than or equal to negative 2. So at negative 2, we shade it in, and we want all answers less than that. Okay. All right, number 12, why don't you guys try it yourself, okay? Go ahead and pause the video, and let's see how you do. Okay, so adding one and then you divide by negative seven, you flip because you're dividing by negative seven. However, then you need to rewrite this because the y is not first. And you get y is greater than or equal to negative seven. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of the, two of these by ourselves or on our own and then uh, 15 and 16 uh, as well. So go ahead and pause the video. When you come back on, both 13 and 14 will be up. Good luck. Okay, and there are both 13 and 14. 14, be careful with your negative signs, okay? Negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. It is not 6. All right, and with 14, when we get our answer over here, whoops, just make that a color we can see. Okay, the variable's not first, so you have to rewrite it. Okay, number 15 and 16, go ahead and pause the video. Last two problems, let's see how you do. Okay, and there are your final answers. Now, if you have any questions on these or any other problems that we've gone to, please come see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Otherwise, that's it for chapter, or algebra chapter uh, 6.1. Sorry, I forgot where we're at. Algebra Chapter 6.1, Notes Part 2. Thanks for watching.